Hey, good evening. It's uh, Tuesday, April 2nd, and welcome back to Everyday Talks 24-7. So, just really great to be with you. I'm going to go back to our series in Ephesians about knowing God. Remember, Paul's writing this book to the Ephesian church, and he says, I want you to know God better. To know the great power that raised Jesus from the dead. So that's the theme that we're going to have been reading about through the entire book of Ephesians. And tonight we come to this section in chapter 4, verse 30, which I think is often misunderstood. But we've got to see it in the context of what Paul is saying. He wants us to know God better, to know him more deeply. So in verse 30 he says, And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with whom you were sealed, for the day of redemption. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you are sealed for the day of redemption. See, if we pull things out of context, then we start trying to say, well, what does it mean to grieve the Holy Spirit? Well, Paul is telling us the theme is to know God better, more deeply. And in these passages in Ephesians, from verse 17 on, I mean, I'm sorry, verse, verse 16 on through, through uh, verse 30 here, he's listed the ways that we can honor God, that we can know him, that we can speak the truth and love to one another, that we can not be like the Gentiles, people who don't know God, who live by their desires, but we can live on the basis of knowing Christ. And then there are several things we can put off, put on this new person of Christ to know him more deeply. And then he has several things in the put off and put on category. He wants us to put off falsehood and speak truthfully. He wants us to have anger that does not just destroy us, but have anger that draws us closer to God. We've looked at that. He doesn't want us to steal, but he wants us to give. He wants us to speak well so that we consider the other person most carefully. If we don't do those things, we grieve the Spirit of God. Yes, we break commandments. Yes, we sin. But the implication of that is I also lose the opportunity to know God more deeply. Again, as we've seen several times looking at chapter 4 here, Paul quotes the Old Testament which is written down for us to learn about the things of God, look at what the same language of grieving the Holy Spirit is used in, in Isaiah 63, describing the Israelites turning away from God. He said, these are my people, the sons who will not be false to me. So he became their savior, speaking of Israel. And in, in all that distress, he too was distressed. And the angel of presence saved them, saved Israel. And in his love and mercy, he redeemed them. And he lifted them up and carried them through all the days of old. That's what God has done to the Ephesians. He set his love upon them and rescued them. But then in verse 10 of Isaiah 63, we read this. Yet they rebelled and grieved his spirit. That's what Paul doesn't want us to do doesn't want us to rebel, doesn't want us to turn away from these life-giving things of speaking well of each other, of not lying, of carefully choosing our words, of not living according to our desires, but according to the Spirit of God so that we can know Christ more deeply. Yes, if we fail to speak well, if we don't tell the truth, those are negative things. But more importantly, they rob us of the opportunity to know God more deeply. And God longs for us to know him more deeply. So that we turn away from him, when we don't honor him, when we don't put off our garbage and put on the wonderful righteousness of Christ, which is all the things Paul's been talking about here, we grieve the Holy Spirit of God. 
It's really that simple. God, the maker of the universe, the one who forgives our sins, longs for us to know him more deeply. And when we turn away and go our own way, yes, those things are bad, but most significantly, we grieve the Spirit of God. That God would be that open to us. So, when you get angry and use words that are hurtful, you're hurting that other person, you're dishonoring the things of God, you're not being a good testimony, all that, but even more significantly, you're grieving the Spirit of God who lives in you, who's made his hope within you. You are his temple. And we despise that when we turn away and choose our own words, our own language, our own path. That grieves the Spirit of God. And that needs to impact us as well. We want to live as people who have been made new by the power of the Spirit so that we can know God more deeply. So let's live for that and not grieve the Spirit, but rejoice in the new person He's made us to be. And uh, that's the thought for this night. And uh, we've got Q&A Friday coming up. I've got one more great question. I've got room for one more. Thank you for being here. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. You have a great evening. Thank you for watching. May God richly bless you as you seek to live for His glory.